What's up YouTube, Grandpa here, back again with another new video. So I wanna say around May or June timeframe, I made a video titled Menswear Streetwear Essentials for Summer 2017, and a lot of you guys really enjoyed that video, so I figured I'd make one for fall, and I will be making one for winter as well, so make sure to stay tuned for that. But let's just get started with the first thing that I think is an essential for this fall season, and that is shawl cardigans. Now, I really like these and would recommend getting kind of like thinner to kind of medium thickness ones as opposed to one that's really thick. I'd say those are better off for the winter season. But why I like these a lot, I feel like you can dress them down and dress them up and they're just a little bit more dressy and less kind of lazy than wearing a zip up hoodie or a pullover hoodie at least in my opinion. And the ones I like are usually like this kind of gray color, charcoal grays. Also those like mineral wash colors that kind of teeter totter between gray and blue. Now you could find these at a variety of retail stores or like stores your, your grandpa probably shops at. But I would recommend going thrifting to find some. I feel like that's usually where I see the best ones and at really cheap prices. And the ones that I like as well usually have these massive buttons right here. I'm not a big fan of the ones that have no buttons at all, although I do always wear them open. I feel like this is just a nice little detail right on the side and I personally like it better. And they totally remind me of like Scott Disick's era where he was still dressing kind of preppy and not dressing like a complete Jerry boy. And yeah, they're just really comfortable. Like they're just really cozy and you look kind of like a Hamptons tool but i really like them and i would highly recommend you getting some if i find any online i will leave links in the description below so make sure to check that out but moving on to the next one which are flannels and i know i put flannels in everything i know if you guys saw my scarce flannel challenge video you know i have like a million flannels but i will still recommend them but right now for the fall season especially if you live in socal i would recommend thinner ones just like i did with the cardigans because if you get like those super heavy thick ones you're gonna be sweating like crazy because in SoCal, depending on where you're at, it's still kind of warm, at least during the day. At night, it can get a bit chilly. Luckily for me, I am in a higher climate, so it does get a lot colder than for those of you who are in the valley. But I would recommend maybe changing up like the pattern and the color choices you choose for your flannels. Go for more like fall, autumn colors. You could go for oranges, you could go for your reds, etc. Instead of going for like really brightly colored ones, I would kind of steer clear of those for fall. And once again, your best bet with those, although you can buy them brand new, but they're usually kind of expensive, would be to go out and find some on eBay, maybe on Grail, maybe go thrifting. That's probably your best bet. And next, moving on to number three, we got crew neck sweatshirts as well as knit crew neck sweaters. And once again, just like with the cardigan, I think that crew necks in general are just a tad bit less lazy looking and actually easier to dress up than zip up hoodies or pullover hoodies. Now, I like to wear mine, like if I'm just getting plain ones, I do like to go one size up, like pretty much no matter where I buy them from, because I kind of like, like that baggy or drapier look with those. Although if you do get it fitted, it is to be noted that a lot of them do shrink in the wash or in the dryer. So I would recommend reading the, the tags to see what their personal washing instructions are, but I would recommend maroons, burgundies, pine green, even some like kind of darker oranges, kind of like a rust orange color, as opposed to like a bright orange, like pumpkin looking color. So yeah, go for your rust oranges and kind of all those other colors I just mentioned. And you'll definitely like fit in with that like kind of fall autumn vibe. Instead of doing that beige and olive, I do love beige and olive, but come on, man. Like for the past three years, that's like all I've seen all fall. Like you go out and fall, like anywhere and everyone's just wearing all olive drab or all beige or cream which the colors are timeless but we don't gotta be looking like easy season every single year so yeah i would recommend switching up the color options when you get your crew necks as well as your knit sweaters and with the knit sweaters i would recommend instead of buying those new also i keep saying it but go thrifting you will find some good ones although i would check to see if any of them snag because a lot of the knit ones if it got caught on something maybe it's a hanger they do snag and then once they do i don't really I don't know, they just kind of start to fall apart after that and you definitely do not want that. So lastly, I would recommend getting a pair of boots for the fall and they could also carry over into the winter. I have these black leather boots right here. As you can see, they are pretty well worn. Um, my dad was actually about to throw these away. These are motorcycle boots, but they kind of have like a combat boot look to them. 
and you can see right here, I think this is when he fell once off of his bike back when he used to ride right there. There's like a massive scuff mark right there. And why I would recommend those is yes, I do love wearing sneakers just like everybody else, but it would be a nice kind of like change of pace. I did used to have a pair of boots very similar to that that I wore completely into the ground. I think like when they finally got destroyed was when I was at a Theophilus London concert and they were just done. Like I was just getting stomped out. Like those things were just totaled after like five years of having them. So now I have these, which he was about to throw out, but I was like, nah, let me see if those fit. They do fit. And I'm gonna try to see if I can work them in with some of the clothes I have. And I will be showing like probably outfit videos or something with those. So make sure to stay tuned. Um, I do recommend, cause buying new ones like those would probably be well, way over like the $100 mark because leather boots are not cheap at all. So I would probably say your best bet is eBay, maybe check Grailed. I do know that Guess made this pair of boots, which is the one I was just talking about prior, the ones I used to have for a long time, that look almost exactly like those. And although they're usually $150, I see them a lot of the times on sale for like $40 at like Nordstrom and other like places like that. And I believe they're called the Texan boot. If I can find any, I will leave links to them, but that's a boot I would highly recommend. Although it's a bit thinner than these, these are a bit more chunky. So depending on the look you want, if you want kind of a, a chunkier more boot, like a chunkier, thicker boot, you're better off with some of the vintage motorcycle boots. If you want something a bit more sleek and fashionable, then that guest Texan might be right for you. So that's just a quick little fall essentials video I wanted to throw out there. Um, it's probably a little different than what other people are recommending to you, but it's just stuff that I'll be buying. And there's some other things I wanted to include in this, but I haven't bought them yet. So if I do a new pickups, like a fall pickups video, I will showcase them in that. I do have plenty more stuff on the way. I promise I'm not disappearing for a month again because that completely like hurt the channel. But yeah, um, make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter to keep up. And also I almost forgot, I am selling these I that I bought for the summer. I remember I made the review saying this was gonna be my summer sneaker never wore them. So these are brand new, dead stock, completely perfect. I actually threw them up on Grail, but I'd rather sell it outside of Grail. I would rather sell them directly through PayPal as opposed to doing the whole Grail transaction. So if you are interested in these, these are size 10 dead stock, brand new, and I'm getting rid of them for retail. So if you're interested, DM me on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching guys and peace out YouTube. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God.